Hey you guys, so I'm here to demonstrate how to make hot matcha. So if you don't know what matcha is, it is basically really finely ground tea leaves. They're baby tea leaves. They're the most delicate and a lot of people love matcha. Matter of fact, this year a bunch of Victoria's Secrets models, they kept shouting out cha-cha matcha. A lot of people on the East Coast drink this. If you're a New Yorker, I know that you know about matcha. It's finally catching on around the country. They even opened up a really popular matcha store recently in LA. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my matcha. So basically what you would get here is 50 grams of premium grade matcha. We have five different flavors. We also have original matcha as well. And then once again, the back is clear so you can see exactly what you're getting. Um, matcha is really strong. It equates to almost 10 cups of tea or 10 cups of coffee. So you don't wanna be drinking this, you know what I'm saying, several times a day. I would say drink no more than two cups of matcha per day. Maybe, you know, a few times a week. It gives you a lot of energy. It's a natural energy booster. It helps you lose weight. It has all types of benefits and you guys can find out more about those benefits on my website. So this is how I make my matcha. Basically, this is a Japanese ceremonial kit, and you can get these online anywhere. You can get the bowl, the matcha whisk holder, and then the little spoon. So what you're gonna do is start with warm water. You don't want it boiling hot, just for the fact that the tea leaves are really delicate and it will disintegrate. So just use um, two ounces of water, which equates to four tablespoons. So I just put in four tablespoons of water into my matcha bowl. And again, make sure it's not boiling hot. And then just open up your matcha packet. Mm, it smells so good like blueberries. And then what you're gonna do is just go in there and scoop a small teaspoon of matcha. So I usually put in two teaspoons. So you just put it in there. So now once it's in there, you basically wanna just start whisking really really fast in a zigzag motion here until it starts getting frothy and you can see it's starting to froth up a bit and this tea is really really healthy for you it gives you a lot of energy there's a lot of caffeine in there that's why i say you don't need to drink too much per day and now if you take a look you see all that froth in there and you can also use a shifter as well um, if you want it like really, really fine. But this matcha, to me, I haven't had any issues with it. It's real fine on its own that I haven't had to really shift it. But if you get matcha and it's kind of lumpy or things like that, you'll want to use a shifter. So right now, it's definitely foaming up. And we have matcha, people. So all you do, basically, is that you drink it. You just take it to the head, honey, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and sip this real quick here. Mmm, this matcha is piping hot, okay? It's really good, it's a really good flavor. Like I said, it's an energy booster. You can drink some of this in the morning before you head to work and it will give you enough energy throughout the day. It equates to about 10 cups of coffee, 10 cups of tea. So there is so much energy in this small two ounce drink. It's crazy, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and drink the rest, okay? Cause this is good. All right, honey, all gone, okay? So make sure you guys check out my matcha collection. Like I said, I have five different flavors. They are all really good. They've all been taste tested and approved by your girl.